Which of the following statement concerning a stationary wave is correct? Yeah, I guess we could go through one by one. Let's look at A. All particles between two adjacent nodes oscillate in phase. So in a in a stationary wave, you got you got um how do we draw these things? L loops. They look like that. Why do we use dotted lines? Because the particles will move up and down, up and down, up and down, up down, up down, up down. Just kind of like you know doing this. Do an exercise with your hands. You know, do some oscillation. Is how it looks like. Okay. So what does it mean to oscillate in phase? It means that all particles in between the nodes will go down together and up together in phase. That's a fact, yes? Yes, that's a fact. So between adjacent or consecutive nodes vibrate in phase, yep. Down together, up together. In in one loop, ah, okay? It's called a loop. So it looks correct to me. Maybe this is the answer. Okay, let's check the rest to be sure. B says, amplitude of a stationary wave is equal to amplitude of one of the waves creating it. Oh, you need to remember how stationary wave is formed. Stationary wave is when one wave travel in this direction, and another wave travel in this direction, and they overlap, then they form stationary wave. This is called the incident and reflected. Usually, uh, incident wave, reflected. Amplitude is the same, eh? No, ah. Uh. Here, if this one amplitude is A, then this one also amplitude is A, then when they add together, you have a much bigger amplitude. 2A. It's okay. No, 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 no. no. So, amplitude of the stationary wave is not equal. This is wrong. It's double. The amplitude of one of the waves creating it, assuming that both have the same amplitude. So, nah. C. Wavelength is equal to separation of two adjacent nodes. Separation of two adjacent nodes refers to distance from here. Let's label it. Why do I always miss my colors? Where are my colors? Oh, there it is. So distance, separation here. Is that wavelength? Ah? No. This is lambda over 2. Half a wavelength. Mm. So, nope. This wavelength is not correct. It's supposed to be lambda over 2. Okay, next. There is no displacement of a particle at antinode. No dis... What? Not antinode lah. Node, yes ah. <laughs> so this is wrong. So at the nodes, if you look at this little diagram up here, the particle's not going to move, correct? Antinode is where? Antinode is in between. So this point. Particle is going to be moving up and down with maximum displacement. Max displacement. Or in other words, amplitude. Lah. This one, no, no displacement at all. It's just going to chill there. Nice and chill. Okay? So that's how you can think through all these uh, choices. Lah. Best answer is A. That's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.